Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech HD YouTube channel and we are back with the next part and the 35 must know basic MS Word basics for beginners series. In this part, so we are planning to go through these five functions like use bullets and numbering, paragraph option, increase and decrease indent, use borders and shading and use header styles. Okay, so let's get back to the MS Word document. So before getting into today's tutorial, I would like to share some basic details on MS Word virtual borders. So each blank document in MS Word have a virtual borders inside it. So what I mean by a virtual borders is, so whatever you start typing in MS Word, it will start, it will uh, defaultly, it will start from a particular point. So that is what is called as a uh, virtual borders. So all virtual borders are bounded by 2.54 cm or 1 inch of width. So if I say uh, 1 inch of width, so whatever I type from here, this the distance between this document end and here, it is 2.54 cm. So that's how everywhere. So even if you see here, so that this is the last type place so here to here it is 2.54 centimeter so so just keep this in mind so we will use uh, we will use this terminology somewhere uh, in the upcoming functions also okay so with that we'll start with the use bullets and numbering function so use bullets and numbering function is pretty simple so it is used to you know display the list in the big paragraph or anywhere in the document so to use that, you need to select all the sentences available in your document or whatever you want to show it as a list, select that. And here you can find this bullets option and here it is numbering option. Bullets, uh, here these are all the options you have as a bullet. And also you have an option to define a new bullet. So some people use their logo to define a new bullet. So but uh, these options we can see it in the uh, next phase like uh, intermediate or an expert level but for beginners level we can use any of these bullets but again in the professional environment i have seen people use this bullet mostly most of the time uh, at least eight out of ten times and this bullet and to denote a sub bullet uh, people normally use this bullet okay so these are all the options available in bulleting and in numbers it's uh, you know one two three or you can uh, define it as a b c so it's up to you, you can choose anything, so you can choose a bullet or you can choose numbering, it's up to you, so no questions asked there, okay. So with that we'll move on to the second option for today, it's paragraph option. So paragraph option is more of a formatting function, okay, so to, to you know, to avail the to know the benefits of paragraph function, I am selecting all the sentences available in a document and going to this ribbon so you can go to paragraph by clicking this ribbon or by selecting all the contents and click on the right button of your mouse and you can choose paragraph so anyhow you can uh, reach this paragraph and since i told it's uh, all about formatting so here were uh, the three things which you want to know as uh, part of basics is this indentation spacing and line spacing so indentation is uh, from where your uh, content should start. So as I said, 2.54 cm is the default from uh, MS Word. So if you want to start your sentence from 1.5, if and all, if it's that's the need, you can reduce this. Okay. So here now it is going to start all the sentence from 1.54 cm from the start of the border. So if I click OK, you can see it is moving to the left hand side. So I'm clicking Ctrl Z to get back to it. The same way I can increase this number. Say like uh, it should start from 3.54 cm. So that is 2.54 cm plus 1 cm from the left hand side. So I'm clicking OK and it is moving to the right hand side. So that's how that is one of the formatting option available. And here spacing is a very important stuff. Spacing here means spacing between each sentences. Okay. So here they call, I mean, here it moves uh, based on number of points. So normally what we choose is six points for each. So this is one of the best practices uh, followed in MS Word. So I also recommend you to follow six points within each paragraph. Okay. So each paragraph. So this is a paragraph. 
and this is the second paragraph and this is a third paragraph so that's all so between each paragraph i'm keeping six points so that's one of the best practices and the last one is line spacing line spacing is between each lines available in the paragraph so uh, single is the default thing available in ms word but if and all you want to increase it to 1.5 lines you can do that so you can see so the so there are three lines within this paragraph and within these three lines the number of the spacing has been increased okay so that's what the, i mean that is the whole idea about that function so paragraph is all about formatting but uh, these are all the basic things you need to understand about formatting but there are more to formatting and also with paragraph function itself so we can see those functions in the intermediate or at the expert level of courses okay so we are done with these two and the next one is increase or decrease indent increase or decrease indent is a easy way of formatting so these are all two options so as you click increase increase indent it will move the entire paragraph or whatever the selected area to move by half a inch half a inch means 1.27 cm so same way you can increase it by clicking if you click two times it is moving to 2.54 cm from the original place like this you can decrease it so so the, i mean this is a one click uh, formatting that's it easy way to format rather than going through going to using uh, paragraph function okay so we are done with this and the next one is use borders and shading use borders and shading is uh, you know creating a table around it creating a box around it this is uh, mostly used in highlighting a uh, few contents so uh, this is the function used to it and i'm going to the bottom ribbon and i'm clicking all borders so if i as i click all borders you can see the table has been drawn all over the sentences so this is one option if you click all borders it is doing like this and if i am clicking only the top border so so if i am if i am clicking only the top border there will be only a border in the top so that's all okay so most of the time uh, everyone will use all borders so you can you know based on the use cases and based on the requirement you can play around with it but this is the major functionality of that okay so i'm just taking to all borders and shading so and also you can you know uh, color that box so just to highlight it you can color it as you like so here i'm going with uh, yellow and uh, and uh, again you know all box are independent so you can color it as you like so you can color it any color as you like okay so, so i'm just putting some random colors so it's up to you it is again to highlight a particular content available in the paragraph so we are done with this and the last one for today use header styles use header styles uh, so uh, header styles is as the name denotes it is a uh, header which is used to which is used in the top of the paragraph okay so so say like i'm, I'm just uh, typing a random stuff and introduction okay so so this is one of the header so you can define the header style so you can define heading 1 or heading 2 or, or anything as you like and also the good part is we can modify this header as we need so this is something uh, i'm putting it for the next part so we can see this in detail in next part but the major functionality of uh, header is uh, you can you know uh, you can create uh, header styles out of it this is very important for a couple of things one is to come up with a automatic table of contents and the second part is to come up with a formatting because you know a uh, header has to be highlighted so you know most of the time if the document is very large everyone is just skim through it or no one is going to read through in detail so the header has to be uh, very highlighted it has to be very visible and it has to be uh, common across so those are all the major functionalities of using headers header styles and as i said we can modify as we like so this is something we can uh, dig in deep in the next tutorial next part So yeah so that's it with uh, today's part
okay so hope you like this video we'll see the rest of the functions in the next video with that thank you stay safe and bye